Greetings everyone and welcome to my review of the brand new line from Integrity Toys called Meteor, as you can see. I am Barbara and I am your faithful host and as you can see as I lift this up, this is a limited edition doll. But I wanted to take a moment because this is such a brand new line. Uh, to talk about the packaging because Integrity Toys really does do a very good job of differentiating the packaging for each of their lines. Uh, Meteor has a very um, Middle Eastern, I would say, uh, feel to it. It's got a bias cut box. Um, this one is like an orangey red with obvious orange in it. And the back, of course, gives you uh, the limited editions. That this is an Integrity Toys created by Von Sawyer. But the packaging is always designed by Monsieur Alain Tremblay. Before we open the box, I just want to very quickly show you... Uh, the key tag or the arm tag on one side will say Integrity Toys and on the other says Meteor. I did have, or I made a point of having over here, um, tweezers, but I, no, of course they took a walk. Anyway, uh, this is the accessories box. Uh, it's a little hard with this lighting. Oh, no, you can see it. It says Meteor. It's in gold, like a darker gold. And this would sit in the box like this, folding in. And the sides will slide out like so. I will have most of the accessories on her. And if I was going to have the doll in the box, it would open like so. But as you can see, she's not in the box. Um, again, you have these vents, I don't know if you can really see that, but you do have the vents on top and you have the Integrity Toys stamp on both sides. Now, without any further ado, let me introduce you to she who is called Edge of Night, Amira Majid. Now. Miss Majid and her colleagues are all supposed to be uh, part of a group of young professionals who are uh, working in and around a club, which is called Club Meteor. Uh, they are influencers. They are they are social media mavens, and they are you know again relatively young. I think if we're keeping the storyline clean because they are part of the greater fashion royalty world they are the same the girls of meteor and they are and they really shouldn't say girls they should say young women the young women of meteor are the ages veronique and adele were when they started so i don't know if i should be reminding people that it's been a while that veronique and adele have been around because they've kind of danced around the fact that it's been 20 years and um by now veronique and adelaide would be mature women of a certain age but anyway this is not about them this is about amira so let us move amira in a bit closer amira's palette is going to be mostly matte as opposed to glossy and it is going to be um in the grays except for her incredibly neutral almost not painted lip um her eyes have like a very grayish sand color on the top to a much more distinctive gray um at the lower lid with a glossy finish on the edges her, her eyes are lined in black. Her lashes are real, they are applied. And her eyes are a grayish brown. She's wearing um, a very interesting metallic piece of jewelry where you would expect at the part near 
nearest the ear at the lobe that that would be a gemstone it's not this is all cut silver it is meant to give you the impression of being very chunky put uh keep turning her she had this is a doll that does not have a great deal of product in her hair it is pretty much loose it is in a half ponytail at the top um that part up here where the head is where the tail i should say is wrapped is going to have a little bit of product in it but everything else is free and it's a very tight razor blunt cut at the bottom Let me put the camera down let's turn her back around again uh the look is incredibly interesting and this is one of those moments where I'm currently tempted to say the parts are greater than the whole. And by that I mean you have this really cool textured jacket that's almost like a worn suede. You have a very long, as you can see, shirt that almost could double as like a gauzy nightshirt. She has this really cool tie and this really, really nice um, gray plaid skirt which is very much the private school, Catholic school look, except for the fact that the jacket is off the shoulders. Um, so this is some kind of, it's an interesting little boho fan, not boho, but you know, it's an interesting little school girl fantasy, which is kind of, I guess in keeping with the idea that Amira comes from money and she would have gone to private schools and maybe this is what the girls did with their blazers once they were out the door, they crank up the skirts and they turned down the jacket collars. The jacket, by the way, is going to close with hook and eye in the front. And I believe I saw that the tie, if I remember correctly, let's keep turning this again. The tie has a pearl button in the back. Don't bend her down a little bit so you can see this. Excuse me. It has that pearl button in the back with the loop. And for right now, I think I put the collar up. So I can turn the collar down. There we go. And that's the much more classic tie. The tie is kind of cool. I like it, and I'm and I'm guessing it's kind of an okay length. Um. In it's the base color is very clearly white, with one red stripe and one blue stripe. I guess you could get away with trying to put this on a home. I don't know. I will hold that thought next time I get a home I'll try it out. Um, as you can see the shirt looks kind of gauzy but isn't. It's really just a very nice fine check pattern but instead of it being two different checks it's white on white check. And again as I said it's an exaggerated length. The shirt goes all the way almost to the knee while the skirt is about the length as I said the skirts would wind up once you were out of school and you were walking to the bus stop. Not that I actually did this when I was in high school. And her skirt, <clears throat> by the way, will close also with hook and eye. Very nice detailing pleats in the back, by the way. I'm just quickly lifting this up to see what kind of, wow. Woo, hey there. Check this out, everybody. We have a brand new panty pattern. You know what? It's like, okay, it's a panty, it's white mesh or beige mesh or, you know, black mesh. This is actually a very nice flower patterned panty, not unlike ones that we would actually wear. So I'm actually kind of impressed. Vaughn sprang for a new pattern of panty. Wow. Interesting that they did that because that's not... Because really, I can't see, you know, unless you, I can, this is not something that you're going to see through the shirt necessarily. Even if you took the skirt off and then you could pair it with like a really thick white stock. It would, it would have to be a white, a cream stocking wouldn't even work with this. Um, but if you did it with like stockings, you still wouldn't see the underwear. So it was an interesting choice on Vaughn's part to give us that kind of detailing uh, with the panty that we're not necessarily going to really be able to see or appreciate. Before we move down to the shoes, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to talk about the shoes. Um, if you notice, 
she does have a bare leg. There are no stockings that come with this outfit, which is interesting because the shoes themselves almost beg for it. They're sort of like Doc Martin-esque or the modern um, 2020 take on what the Doc Martens would look like. Ver um, except that you have a much more defined clunky heel than you would on a Doc Martin. The front is very dark. The front is very dark. Doc Martin. The back is much more of a heel. And again, I was expecting to have like a, or I would think she would come with socks or a stocking just to stick out from the boot, but it doesn't. By the way, just to finish up with the boot, obviously you can see it laces in the front for real. Uh, you will have, you should probably have a pair of tweezers with you. Uh, not necessarily to tie the shoes. Tying the shoes isn't so bad, but there is an actual tongue to the boot. So you probably want to have the tweezers there uh, just to help you move that tongue into the forward position so you can slip the foot through. Let's put it back on the stand very gently. And let's go ahead and talk very quickly about her manicure, which is long. Um, remember I said a few minutes ago that her eyes had sort of a, a glossy gray right at the corners. This is the matte version. The nail polish or varnish is the matte version of that gray. And she's wearing, um, a very architectural postmodern piece of jewelry on her, as her ring. It looks like something very, I, I don't even want to say it's art deco. I think I'm going to go with postmodern, like constructed piece of jewelry. What else does she come with? Um, well, in her particular case, she doesn't come with too much more. She does come with, and this is reason, basically reason number one I bought this doll, um, was the skirt, frankly, because I haven't seen a, a, a private school skirt constructed this well ever. And again, let me say, oh, wait a second. I'm just realizing this. Okay. Um, there's like semi pleats over the pleats. So this is really very, very, I, I'm like, I'm afraid to break the pleats, but this is very, very well constructed. This is definitely very much like the private school skirt. Uh, but as I was starting to say, reason number one, reason number two is this very functional tote bag that has both the carry handle and the messenger bag strap. You can be opened gently, gently children, and there is a zipper uh, with the extra pull, whoops, with the extra pull tab. I don't want to push this. Sometimes I get lucky with the zipper and it just works. And sometimes the zipper is a little tight. And this is one of the cases where the zipper is tight. So I don't really want to force it too much because I don't want it to break. But once you do open this, you can obviously put in here lots of stuff that, whoa, there you go. Lots of stuff that we've been getting lately, like the iPad, like the phone, like the notebook and pen we get with Giselle. Hold that thought, Giselle is coming. Um, so clearly this is this is a bag you can actually put lots of stuff in. Um, you might even be able to squeeze the camera that we got with um, Romaine not that long ago. About, I, know, I guess Romaine was about a year ago now. Time is a little weird lately, isn't it folks? Yeah, we'll talk about that later too. Anyway, purse front, this is the back. I think the back pocket also opens. Stick a little money or an ID card in there. And you can close it back up like this. Again, that zipper is tight, so I really don't want to get too crazy with it. Um, And of course, this being integrity, the one other almost del facto accessory is the second set of dialing or pointing hands or gripping hands. 
She doesn't necessarily come with anything to grip in this case, but you do have that extra set of hands. Now, I said originally I bought her um, just because I wanted to get the pieces. This is this was definitely a doll I said I can. I don't know if I'm in love with the outfit as it's put together. I'm still not completely in love with it, but in person, it's a lot more impressive, particularly the jacket. I did not realize it was suede. It is really, really nice. Um, but this is definitely um, a look that you can have a lot of fun with mixing and matching. And frankly, again, just to go back to the skirt, um, and not that I'm obsessed with private schools, um, God, that's gonna, you people are gonna come out of this video thinking I am, but I'm not. I'm just saying the skirt would work with Poppy if Poppy went to a private school or a school that had a uniform. But looking looking at Amira head on in per, in person and looking at her face, particularly her eyes. She's a lot more attractive in person than I realized she was going to be. So, originally it's like, you know what? I'm probably going to keep the outfit and sell the doll. But now I'm thinking, no, I think there's a place for her in my collection. And I'm going to meditate on that. So Vaughn has done a very good job uh, with the Meteor dolls. There are other dolls in the line. Amir is not the only, Amira is not the only one. But she is the only one I got. Excuse me. She is the only one I chose to get. So, um... What should you do? Where would you want, uh, what, what, which, what should you do? I would say this is not a, if you want to come in with the meteor line with the first line, this is not a bad idea. Um, there is a doll in particular who has incredibly fierce and wonderful hair. And of course her name goes right out of my head as I'm thinking about it. I will put the name, the doll's name will wind up in the edited video below. Uh, so look below right look right here right now and you'll see her name but that's another great doll to have because it looks like she has some incredibly fierce hair definitely keep your eye out for these dolls um they they were able to be shipped almost immediately from the time of their reveal uh to now there was very little lag time i'm not quite sure how much we're going to be able to say about that going forward i think you guys know what i mean um the world has kind of changed a lot um, since the last time we all kind of sat down and hung out and talked. Um, it's gotten to be, frankly, pretty shaky. And um, I've been told we cannot say the words of what is happening, but um, a lot of us are home. And we have more time to play. And if there was ever a time for you to go through your collection, debox your dolls, redress them, put the pieces together in all different crazy combinations. If there was ever a time to do that, this is it. We cannot sit in front of a TV all day watching Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or the BBC or ITV or Sky News or any of the other, uh, the Canadian Broadcasting Channel or any of the other international news outlets that are out there. We need to get out um, and, we need, and we need breaks. And if there was ever a time to play, this is it. Play, enjoy yourself and certainly the Meteor Dolls are a great place to start and a great place to play. So for Amira and for me, Barbara, I will see you in my next review, which is going to be of a new face doll, Giselle to be, to be exact. So enjoy everybody and take care. Bye-bye.